You may have seen those somewhat shocking images of <clears throat> empty shelves and the food shortage which is artificially created. There is no real food shortage, but capitalists gonna capitalism, politicians gonna politic. Um, and you may have seen these images where all the shelves are empty, except for the vegan sections. Where even when there were no other choices, people would rather just not eat meat than eat fake vegan meat. Right? Now, you may also have noticed if you live in a, I don't know, metropolitan area, that these vegan meat substitute type products... Oh dear. I'm not entirely sure. Is my voice double? Hello. Okay, I don't know what's happening with my audio, but whatever. Um, these meat replacement products are, are a big deal. They seem to be invading shops everywhere. Why is this? Well, um, what they're doing is essentially uh, trying to manufacture demand for a product that is extremely cheap and very, uh, you, you can make a lot of profit on it. A lot of more conspiratorially minded folks have their ideas about why they're doing this. Now in their words, the marketing strategy they're using is that eating meat is unsustainable environmentally. Now they're not entirely wrong. The modern industrial meat industry is an environmental disaster, but it's not meat that's the problem, and it's not individual consumer choices that are the problem here. Although, it would be probably better for the environment to eat a little less meat. Not every meal has to have meat in it, but um, I'll get to that in a bit. What I recommend that a person does very, very shortly, but first, Raising a cow is very expensive. On the other hand, what are these meat substitutes main component? Well, I will tell you. It is this stuff called pea protein. This can find, be found everywhere from the impossible estrogen burger all the way to the um, Huel. Also, I think my sandwich is about to, to burn, my toasted sandwich. So I'm, I'm going to go check on my toasted sandwich for one, one second. Delicious cheese toasty, but pea protein. Okay, if you can market something as a meat alternative, all it has to be is slightly cheaper than meat for people to choose it over meat. But pea protein, which is the main component of these these meat alternatives, is dirt fucking cheap because it's a byproduct of rice noodle manufacturing in China. It's basically an industrial waste product. They don't want it, they don't have any use for it, so they'll basically give it away for free to anyone who wants to buy it, right? It's super ridiculously insanely cheap. They could be selling these fake meat products for pennies, but they're not going to because all they have to do is undercut the meat market, which means it's a perfect business opportunity, right? For massive profits for everyone involved. And a lot of, there's no part of this where different companies are going to intrude on their, each other, right? There's no competition. All of these companies who you bet your fucking ass they have lobbying groups, right? All of them stand to only benefit if the belief that meat is bad for the environment and that we should be eating less meat and that these meat alternatives are the solution. All of them stand to benefit. No one stands to lose. There's no competition, right? It, because if one company benefits, all the companies benefit. They don't take market share away from each other because there is currently no demand. So any of them producing demand benefits all of them. 
uh, if you think they actually care about the environment or they're trying to push this for some environmental reason, this is actually incorrect. So the US actually uh, exports a whole bunch of beef. The beef industry extremely powerful in the US. Also the beef industry in the US uh, pretty buddy buddy with these people trying to get you to eat pea protein based fake meats which you would think is surprising. You would think they would hate each other but they're not. They're not at each other's throats. They actually like each other. The reason is that uh, when Americans import dirt cheap pea protein from China they also export massive amounts of American beef to China and it's a it's basically a really good trade relationship that these companies have between America and China where they're selling American beef high quality American beef to China which they don't really have a big um, domestic supply of they have some don't get me wrong but American beef is cheaper because the beef lobby in America very powerful, heavily subsidized, etc. Uh, and the Chinese companies get to sell this waste product to Americans to eat shitty fake meat. Um, now, back to what I said. Uh, so yeah, don't eat these things, right? I'm not saying pea protein is bad for you. It's probably perfectly healthy. It's probably perfectly healthy and fine to eat. But I'll tell you what it's not as good as the best meat substitute. The best meat substitute is beans. Any, if you ever have a choice between eating some sort of extract of something versus the whole food, right? You should always pick the whole food, right? This is not Whole Foods, the Amazon company. They kind of stole this phrase and twisted it into a, their brand. But whole foods, as in like whole grain food, like whole grains, brown bread, all of these things, because generally they're more dietarily complete. So I don't trust pea protein because why would I not just eat peas? And what are peas? They're just a type of bean, pretty much. And beans are great. They're cheap and delicious, and they have loads of protein and fiber and other nutrients in it. Why would you ever eat a pea protein fake meat when you can just eat beans that taste like beans instead of eating meat that doesn't taste like meat? Why would you not just eat delicious beans that taste like beans? Every, listen, there's no fucking reason to buy these impossible fake meat vegan bullshit, right? Because if you want to eat less meat, just eat beans and like legumes, like lentils and stuff. This is what vegans and vegetarians have been eating for literally centuries, right? You know who has the best vegetarian food in the world? It's India, by a long shot, right? And what do they eat? Dal, loads of fucking lentils. Because lentils are delicious if you cook them right, as they do in India and not just India, but the whole area, you know, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. They all eat lots of bean, I mean, uh, lentil-based dishes. And even better than that, in my opinion, you know, I like a lentil, but if, I, if you give me the choice of beans or lentils, I'm picking beans, just personally speaking. Whole beans, man. You don't want to be falling for this pea protein fucking scam that they're trying to run on you. You're literally, I mean, not necessarily because it's bad for you, as I said, but because you're paying too much for a product that they are marking up massively. Whereas beans are not marked up that much, especially um, if you can find big um, bulk dried beans, it's a bit of a pain having to soak them overnight, but they are so ridiculously cheap and nutritionally complete. It just it makes me think there's not any there's not ever any reason to buy these pea protein based scam meals that are essentially funded by the meat industry anyway because they can make more money exporting American meat to China than they can selling domestically. It's just the facts, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the facts.